Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I got a little special video today. Today, I want to talk about what Donald Trump should be thankful for. What I mean by this is, I want to talk about the gifts that Saudi Arabia gave him that he should be very thankful for. So, let's talk about the 83 gifts and more. First, he got four pairs of leather sandals. Then he got a box of Saudi traditional headgear, including black wool headbands and accompanying scarves. He got a brown wool robe. An orange and gold wool robe lined with cheetah fur. Blue and silver wool robe lined with white tiger fur. Black and orange cotton shirt with a leather ammo belt and holster. Green and orange cotton shirt with leather ammo belt and holster. Damn, he must love the Second Amendment. Tan cotton shirt with pink and red floral embroidery with a leather ammo belt and holster. He's strapped. Black and gold wool threaded headpiece to hide his hair even though he loves that. White and cotton, shemag, or headscarf. A book about traditional Saudi Arabian costume. White cotton shemag, or headscarf. A white cotton digla jacket. A pair of brown and yellow leather sandals. A pair of red and green leather sandals. One brown and one black jacket with gold detail. Book about traditional Saudi Arabian costume again. A pair of brown and silver leather sandals. A pair of brown and green leather sandals. Two white silk cotton button-up shirts. I thought he only wore Trump-branded shirts. I guess not. A chiffon yellow and turquoise dress with gold beaded and embroidered detail. I didn't know he was young thug. One... Sleeveless brown and one white silk cotton garment to show off his big arms. Red and white cotton and shemag headscarf. A box of five wool headbands with accompanying headscarves with various colors and design. One black and one white light wool jacket with gold detailing. A black jacket made of light wool with gold detailing because he loves gold. Three wool buttoned up shirts. All this is boring. I'm going to go to some more. Interesting stuff. He got a purple wool robe with white tiger lining. A white light and wool jacket with gold detailing. Five cashmere scarves. Let's go to some better stuff again. Hmm. You, can, you guys can all look this up too. This is on the Daily Beast. This is hilarious. All these gifts that Trump got from Saudi Arabia. He used to call them the number one supporter of terrorists and now he's sucking up to them. Getting all these gifts. It's funny. <laughs> Here's some good ones. A black traditional shirt with floral embroidery and leather ammo holder and holster. An orange traditional shirt with silver floral embroidery and leather ammo holder and holster. A green traditional shirt with floral embroidery and leather ammo holder and holster. Green because he loves money. A green traditional shirt with floral embroidery and leather ammo holder and holster. <laughs> he got a one... Large sword, a dagger, and a leather hammer holder and holster. Again. Two pieces of calligraphy artwork. Two sets of three-piece oil rose perfume and custom carved wooden boxes. Um, a silver incense holder. A copy of Kuwaiti, a copy of the Kuwaiti Constitution. A Chopard pen. A Chopard desk cloth. Four boxes of gold-plated coin from Bank of Kuwait. I think that's money. I don't think you could get money from a foreign government. I don't think you get gifts either. In the Constitution, there's such thing called the Emoluments Clause. Emoluments Clause, my bad. And it says you can't take gifts from foreign governments. Or kingdoms. KSA, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, gave him over 83 gifts. <laughs> Let's talk about some more of them. He got a sword. Maybe he'll do some jousting or some shit. Three traditional Saudi garments, a large canvas artwork depicting Saudi women. 
that a Mona Lisa or is that a Saudi woman that is covered from head to toe? Who knows? A large artwork depicting Arabic calligraphy and an artwork featuring a picture of President Donald Trump. Because <laughs> they know that boy's a narcissist. That's why they gave him all these gifts. That's why they're showering him with all this love and praise. And that's why Donald Trump reciprocates that love and praise by not denouncing Saudi Arabia like he used to. He used to call them the people that did 9-11, all this populist stuff to get elected. But now he's letting Saudi Arabia do all the stuff that they're doing, giving them a record weapons deal worth billions and billions of dollars. But the mainstream media doesn't want to talk about all the gifts that he got from them. They don't want to talk about this because they want to talk about Russia. Because Russia has a very good media apparatus that talks the truth. Unlike the mainstream media in the United States. So, in conclusion, I kind of wish I got some of these gifts because... I mean, who doesn't want a leather ammo holster? Deuces. Happy Thanksgiving.